Theo and I decided to foster because we were having trouble getting pregnant. We decided that, you know, maybe this was another route that God was trying to push us towards. My oldest, he's 18, he graduated this year, and we would have been empty nesters, you know, trying to figure out what to do next. That's something we did let Miracle Hill know um, from the start. We would like to try to adopt if we could, but we're willing to foster. Sometimes um, it can be very frustrating for people who are trying to adopt because they're on these waiting lists and they have to get chosen and there's such a great need for foster care. But we caution them, if that's what they're coming in for to adopt, you're going to get your heart broken. It might take one, two, three, four placements. Nicholas and Enrique were our first placement and I was very nervous. We planned, we had toys, we had clothes, we had everything. When they arrived, I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do with these kids? <laughs> like, are they gonna accept me? But they came in the door and they rushed in. It was like, mommy, mommy, daddy, daddy. You know, and it was just like, you know, we didn't tell them to call us that. You know, it was just from that moment. There is a possibility um, when you foster that the child may um, be able to go back to the parents and that's always something that you are afraid of because you develop a relationship with these children. If they would have been taken away from us, yes it would have hurt, but just knowing that you know we made an impact in their lives, we, we kept them safe, I know they felt loved, I mean I still would have been happy with that. After maybe a year of having Nicholas and Enrique, um, that's when we found out that um, their older brothers were in a group home. Just kept just egging at me, just like, just bothering me like, man, I, we should do something. Like, we, we should try to keep them together if we could. When I think about the Douglas family, I think about the verse in Ephesians that talks about how God can do immeasurably more than we've ever thought or expected. Because we weren't expecting any of this. When they went into foster care, they just went into foster care. And they didn't realize how God was gonna grow their family. Miracle Hill has helped us a lot from the beginning with paperwork, staying on top of different things like court cases. If we had questions, God has taught me to, yes, be patient, but to also trust and believe in Him. Faith in Christ makes a big difference when you're in the foster parenting journey because you have to rely on God for all of the unknowns. So the night that I found out that I was pregnant, um, I had a glass of water on one of my Bible journals and I picked up the glass and it had the number eight. You know, I was just overwhelmed with joy because I, I was so grateful just to see that, you know, like we're gonna have eight members of our family. I have baby Mia now. She is the joy of this house, seems like. Because of COVID, we had to do their last adoption with the younger two kids virtually. But we were just glad that we were able to do it and we didn't have to wait because we already waited long enough for these boys to get adopted. If someone is looking to foster, don't be afraid to do it. Um, don't be afraid of getting attached and them having to leave because you don't know what impact you may have made in their life, no matter how big or how small, you don't know how you may have changed their lives whether they stay or whether they go, just, you know, just be that for someone if you can't.